Now I'm very, very happy to welcome uh, our guest in the very wild hours of Greece right now because it's about 6.40 a.m. and I thank him very, very much for joining us to talk about his film. This is the first indie Greek Oscar qualifying film, the short film Pet. I'm very happy to have with me and to welcome filmmaker and director Christos Moraitis. Christo, good morning to you in Athens. Good morning, Adriana. Thank you very much for the invitation. You're very, very welcome. I this, you know, as I keep mentioning and saying all the time, Los Angeles Hellenic Radio is here to promote, to showcase, and to show everything about the Greek people, whether they are in the United States or any part of the world. And nothing makes me happier than having a guest who is a filmmaker, who is a director, and who's got such exciting news. I mean, your film has won award after award after award. What can I say? Tell us about your film. Uh, my film is a domestic drama with a title, Pet. And uh, it's a film about childhood and the time you have to live behind your innocence in order to survive in a cruel world. Mm-hmm. And that happens to many, many people, to millions around the world, and having to leave something behind or having to eliminate something for whatever reason because of things that you have to face and you just can't continue. What is the message that your film is trying to, to, to relate here or to relay or to get out? What is, what is the point that you're trying to make? Um, you know, uh, in... Uh in that society, race of uh, of uh, of materialism, mm -hmm. uh, you you know that race of of demonstrating wealth and power in our life, in right. our society, mm -hmm. for the sake of which we're losing ourselves and our child. Uh, it's uh, it's a very bad thing, and uh, yes, because we seem to lose and miss the importance of things that are not dominated by money or power or anything else. And in the meantime, we seem to lose everything else. If I'm correct, is that right? Y yeah, um, if you think about it, uh, uh, the film is uh, about maltreatment uh, of the child, and uh, if you think about it, if you if if we lose a child's soul, uh, we lose the moment and the future because if you lose uh, a child's soul, we lose a part of the future. Exactly, because so, children are the future. Yeah, and uh, I committed to that story because it concerns me very strongly how a child can mentally be formed due to the maltreatment of his parents. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's a very, it's a very strong theme, and uh, I think it's a universal uh, theme. And yes, it's something uh, that's close to home in whatever part of the country you're in, because situations like this take place anywhere. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. And uh, in the West world, uh, if I can. Uh, I think some of my travels in festivals uh, in the uh, United States uh, or in France, people can uh, see some situations of their lives in the film and uh, mm -hmm. that makes the film more powerful, in my opinion. No, no, I, I completely agree because I was fortunate enough to see it and it is, in all its briefness, it is very riveting, it is very... It really, it really strikes a, a, a nerve, if I can say that. Um, it, it, I don't know, for some reason, it just, it really struck me when I saw it. If I'm not mistaken, now correct me wherever I am wrong. If I'm wrong, it has had 40 official selections worldwide, 30 of them in the United States, and has won 13 nominations and five awards. Yes, that's right. And that is amazing. Uh, I mean, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, and uh, we are all very happy for that because uh, it's a film that made uh, without any government financial support, and uh, in an era that uh, in Greece uh, that Greece is collapsing, yes. um, I, I was uh, obliged to make uh, countless personal sacrifices uh, in order to complete the film, and of course. Uh, 
I had to ask uh, and uh, for help uh, uh, for uh, countless uh, friends and artists in Greece, and uh, I'm very happy because PET is a result of uh, interhuman partnership. And, of course, uh, and it's a labor of love between yes, it's a labor of love with your between your sacrifices and the assistance from your friends, and then coming out with this project here and winning all those awards and having so many nominations. I mean, I'm really as a Greek or a Greek American or whatever you want to call me. I'm. Uh, I have. I literally have the goosebumps because, I, when I see when I see Greeks um, making such an impact in in whatever field it is, whether it's sports, the arts, cinema, music. I I'm so proud to be a Greek, and from really from the bottom of my heart, I I congratulate you. Whatever that means to you, could we? Could you tell us a little bit about your collaborators and who worked on the film with you? Yes, of course. Uh, I want to accept the Greeks that uh, are so many, and uh, I already mentioned them. Mm -hmm. I want to thank to to my colleagues uh, in the United States who support me and Pat in its Oscar nomination effort. And these are my manager, Alexia Maloki, the well-known producer and partner at Little Studio Films, based in Los Angeles. Okay. And I also want to thank uh, Nectaros Kalogridis, our executive producer, based uh, in New York. Um, I'm very happy for that cooperation because uh, it's been running under great terms, really. Well, well very, we're very also very happy and very thrilled at your collaboration with these wonderful people to have a result like you had. How did the whole, the whole idea come about for you to make this movie and how did this all get started yeah um i think it started for for from an email that uh, i had in my in my sleep okay. it is uh, uh it is clear that uh, the violence we suffer socially in recent years mm -hmm. uh was the impetus for the creation of pet without nevertheless be a film that focuses on current events um so that's in general the whole push that make me create that film. Okay, and how did you? How did this whole um, collaboration, let's say, with Alexia Meloki and uh, Nectario Calogridi come about? You know, uh, I was in the. I'm asking a lot of questions, but that's my job. <laughs> no, uh, it's my. It's my pleasure to answer all that questions. Mm -hmm. it's, my, it's my honor to be uh, hosted uh, in your show. Of course. No, it's our it's our uh, pleasure. It's our pleasure. Promoting Greeks and Hellenism yeah. is what we're here for. Uh, can you repeat that? Because I didn't hear that. No, no. I said it's our pleasure to have you on our show, and because promoting Greeks and Hellenism is what we are here for. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And I'm very glad that I have the opportunity to contact again with the Hellenic Greek family of Los Angeles. Now, uh, yes, continue, I'm sorry. Yeah, so about your question, uh, the last June I was in the Los Angeles Greek Film Festival and uh, Nectarios Kalogridis, uh, it was uh, a fellow filmmaker, uh, as an official selection with his uh, film, uh, a great film about refugees. I'm very sorry, but I don't remember the title right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I we met uh, in the festival with Nectarios and with Alexia. Uh, we met uh, a common friend of us, uh, make the introduction and so i know her uh, from uh, uh, since last june and uh, after that we had a uh, communication and after the uh, oscar qualifying uh, things uh, think uh, uh, came up uh, we decided to start a, co a collaboration in order to have this uh, effort in order to make Pet uh, the first Oscar-nominated short film, and hopefully the first uh, film that uh, it will be an Oscar, uh, an Academy Award uh, 
winner. We would like nothing more than to see a Greek film at the Oscars. Is, is there anything that uh, the Greek-American community can do, the Greeks abroad in general, or the Greeks in the United States, for that matter, since the Oscars take place here, and it's the SAG-AFTRA members that are primarily responsible for the nominations, if I'm not mistaken. What's, what's going on now with the Oscar, uh, the Oscar nod or the upcoming Oscar nod? How are we going to get, how are we going to make, make that happen? You know, uh, until now, uh, they receiving a great push from the Greek American community mm-hmm. uh, by spreading the word, uh, by talking about it, by sharing it uh, on the social media. And that really uh, means a lot to me. And I, I'm receiving uh, many emails uh, the last days that uh, show they're willing to help. Um, and it means it means really a lot to me, especially this uh, difficult time for all of us. So, uh, so, so primarily, Greece. primarily, what the Greeks can do is to just spread the word. Is that what we're supposed to do here to get you at the Oscars uh, with yeah, your film? Yeah. Yeah, the main thing is that uh, to communicate our work mm-hmm. uh, and to talk about it if they like it, of course. And uh, well, I thought it was phenomenal. Us. I'm telling you, I saw it in, as I mentioned, in all its briefness because it is a short. It really, really touched me. I can't say uh, more because I'll give it away, but it really, really touched me, and I was very fortunate to be able to see it. And I mean, I, I have nothing but congrats to say to you and Alexia Meloki and Nectarius Kalogridis. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, the name of his film was Eastern Dream. That was at the LAGFF last yes. summer. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, see, I remembered something. My Alzheimer's is Yes, because we were there. We were, um, we were broadcasting the entire festival live from uh, the LAGFF. So it just came to me. Anyway, um, yes. Is, is is there something else that you'd like to share with us before we say good night or good morning to you or whatever? Uh, in general, no. Uh, we had a conversation that uh, covered up uh, the, the major things about the film. Okay. Uh, I want to say Heretismata uh, from Athens and uh, the Attic Sky. Of course, uh, of course. And, and uh, many regards to you as well. And we wish you... Nothing, nothing but the best of luck, and I can't wait to see you on the red carpet because after all the awards you have won and all the nominations you've had, I, I see you down there in Hollywood very soon. Yeah, uh, I wish Pet to continue having the support uh, of the Greek Americans and uh, all together to make Pet the first uh, Greek Oscar nominated short, and why not the, the first Greek uh, that will win an Oscar? It will belong, uh, in my opinion, to all uh, yes, Greek of, Americans. Of course, of help. course. And, and we thank you for giving us that opportunity to have the joy of hopefully 99% with our fingers crossed seeing our film, our Greek film, and I'm saying our as a Greek, seeing our Greek film right on the red carpet, right in Hollywood, right at the Oscars. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I wish you... A great Sunday evening for you. And a great Monday morning to you and a wonderful week to you. Thank you very much, Christos Moraitis. Much success for your film, Pet, and hope to see you really soon in Hollywood. Thank you very much. All my kisses to you. As well. Thank you. Ciao.